All right, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I am super excited today, bro, because it is finally, finally time to start what will probably be the longest series on my channel, bro. I say probably because there's some other long-term series that I've been thinking about doing, but whew, them motherfuckers is long, bro. But, but anyways, that, that's neither near or there. My point is, bro, today we are finally starting the Yu Yu Hakusho Hill review series, bro. And at first I was gonna do one big video on Yusuke in the game, but then I realized that it's my favorite anime and there's no way I'm gonna talk about it without covering all 100 12 episodes and that gave me a lot of anxiety as you can tell because of that i'm gonna put these videos into parts and give y'all light goals to unlock the next part so the light goal for this video is going to be 15,000 likes and 150,000 views but today we'll be covering the intro up until the end of genkai's tournament and if you get the light goal we will talk about the saint beast art up until our tournament so without further ado let's get it why did i say let's get it like that that was mad weird i'm just saying i don't know but anyways our story's starts off with any other adolescence, any other delinquent, a kid that has problems in school. The reason why I relate to Yusuke so much is because, just like Yusuke, I also was hated by most of my teachers. There were a few that liked me, but most of them thought that I was a super nigga. And I mean, I'll be honest, I probably was. I, I can't even lie. I was constantly fighting people, getting in trouble in class, trying to be a class clown. So I understand how my man Yusuke be feeling, which is why I fuck with him so much. Because just like me, he was a troubled youth, but he was misunderstood. Now, one day, Yusuke is traveling down the street. And then he sees a kid in the road playing with a ball. Now, any other time you see a kid in the street, most people will probably ignore them, but Yusuke, being a good person he is, tells the kid to get the fuck out of the street. First off, where are your parents at? What is your mom all fucking somebody? Like, wh wh why ain't she watching you? You in the street playing with a ball, nigga? This is not recess. You about to get splattered by a car. So he talks to the kid, he gets him out of the street. No problem there. But then this dumbass kid decides, huh? He did just yell at me and tell me not to go on the street, but maybe I should go chase my ball out there anyway. So of course, naturally, like any other fictional story, a problem occurs. This kid's ball goes into the road and he follows it. Yusuke being the Samaritan he is, of all days, he decides today is the day he wants to be Superman. Any other time? Nah, I ain't gonna say that. Yusuke a real nigga. He probably would've saved him on any other day, but nigga, why? This is where we meet our first nemesis in the story. Carcoon. Now, I know some of y'all that are OGs of the channel and have watched my older hood reviews know about me and Carcoon's history. I smoked him on different occasions and I haven't seen him since, but I guess he is going to make a return for this video. Now, Yusuke goes to save this kid in the road and I'm not going to lie, bro. This is where Yusuke takes his first L, bro. The first L of many. I mean, well, Yusuke be winning, but like sometimes you just be running into people that are too goddamn strong. And this time it happens to be two tons of steel in the form of a Honda Civic. So like any other natural human being, Yusuke dies because he got hit by a fucking car. As he's laying there on the ground, paramedics arrives. But as he gets smoked, Yusuke's spirit's floating around and he can't understand why he's seeing himself dead on the ground. It's kind of weird. It's like one of those like feelings where you feel like you're watching yourself while you're floating above yourself. But this time he really was floating above himself. Like somebody called a Ghostbusters. This nigga was dead. So he's laying on the ground mad as shit. The paramedics show up. He starts punching the paramedic because he don't know he's dead. He's like, get off of me. He starts trying to rock him. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Nothing happens though. This nigga is a ghost. He can't materialize. So he's punching nothing. So after all of this happens, we meet the goat Botan or the guardian of the river sticks. I think is her name in the, the is it guardian of the river stick? I don't know. Anyway, she's basically the grim reaper, bro. She shows up and I ain't going to hold you, bro. Yo, she is too bad to be a grim reaper, though. Like, like, like I'm sitting here like, 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 cause Botan is bad. Yo, my fiance did a Botan cosplay recently and I ain't gonna lie, yo, she come here in that cosplay. It's gonna get wicked, nigga. I'm just saying. Anyways, Botan tells Yusuke that she's gonna give him a chance to basically come back to life. Now, Yusuke is like, what do you mean come back to life, nigga? I'm dead. And he was like, yeah, nigga, you're dead. Like, <laughs> there, there, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You got smoked. You got hit by a car. Why did this nigga think he survived getting hit by a car? What kind of dumbass is he? That doesn't matter. The point is, basically, if Yusuke can guard this spirit egg or like, I don't even know. First off, let's just let, let, for a second. Let's just think about the premise here. So he has his egg, right? That's supposed to hatch into this like guardian 
spirit or whatever the fuck right and if it turns into something good based off of good energy and things that he's done that are good it's fine he'll get another chance at life everything will be great but if he's bad it turns into a really nasty monster and it'll eat him just the premise of that is insane like what kind of shrooms was Tagashi on when he made that up anyways while this nigga is dead he talks to Botan and he realizes that he saves that kid for no reason that if he didn't save the kid and the ah, speaking of carcoon I hear that he's made an entrance into my video it's kind of funny that he would choose this video to come back but anyways anyways he finds out that if he didn't save the kid the kid would have survived and he did all of this for nothing which kind of sucks and he feels useless about it man, but whatever fuck it so we're at yusuke's funeral at this point and this part is kind of funny i ain't gonna lie my man kuwabara comes in right now most of y'all look at this scene and be sad because kuwabara is like no you're a messy you're not supposed to die yet and y'all probably be like oh but when i seen this moment i ain't gonna lie i laughed my ass off this man cool bar talks funny as shit man talking about you're a messy kind of dumb ass <laughs> Now, nah, Kuwabara cool the goat, though. That's where the Pompadour character came from, you know? And that's why the Pompadour characters are near and dear to my heart. That's why I fuck with my man Knuckles from Hunter Hunter, you feel me? It's basically just Kuwabara. Cool now, after Kuwabara cool storms in, storms out, his friends done pulled him out. The teachers start talking heavy, bro. Now, now, I ain't gonna lie, like, they're talking heavy, like, yeah, I'm glad he's dead, stupid-ass bitch. <laughs> he was terrible. Nobody likes your Meshi. <laughs> my man Takanaka came up, yo, the, the one teacher in the school that liked my man Yusuke and was talking spicy to these niggas. Now, now, you know, normally I would just tell you what he said, but you know, I got to hit y'all with the hood translation. He was like, <clears throat> yo, gang, 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 it's your man Takanaka. Hey, yo, coming straight out of Tokyo Shibuya district. You know what the fuck going on, man. Representing the 99s and the 2000s. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yo, talk about my mans again. I'm gonna smack the shit out with you on everything I love. Look, on BD, I'm gonna smack the shit out with you, folks. And I was like, yo, my God, this nigga turned into a Chicagoan. Like, yo, what, what? But nah, he was talking mad spicy to these niggas. I'm gonna come all the way clean. This man, you skate mom in there crying and shit which i mean you know i kind of felt bad because you stay in there calling her mother of the year being all sarcastic to his mom and she in here crying she love you nigga that's your mom the only mom you got y'all gotta cherish your mom i lost my mom i know how it feels yo y'all niggas gotta make sure y'all love her man she might be here today going tomorrow man that's all i'm saying so anyways at this point you goes and he finally gets to go meet kawinma now kawinma is a toddler for some reason even though he's hundreds of years old i don't really understand it it's really confusing i guess they did it for like comedic relief like but why is this 500 year old in charge of everything and have a fucking banky in his mouth <sighs> anyways bro that's neither neo there he gets to meet kawinma and we're in the dead people stock exchange which there's a bunch of paperwork that happens dead people get transferred they decide if they're going to go to you know spirit realm or if they're going to go to hell it's it's a lot bro i'm gonna be honest but this man Kawima is mad funny. So of course Yusuke sees his little ass baby and starts talking about how he's a baby. This man Kawima talking about, well, I'm quite potty trained, I'll have you know. And I'm not gonna lie, I lost my shit. This little ass baby talking about, I'm potty trained. I'm 500 years old. Shut your soft ass up. Bro out here looking like a huggy model. Like, come on now, man. Now fast forward past this point, Yusuke does a bunch of stuff though to get his body back. And he basically has to, it's, it's so convoluted, bro. But I have to fast forward this part and just tell y'all the tldr because it's, it's bro it's just so much bullshit but long story short he basically has to get a kiss in order to come back to life he has to get keiko to kiss him keiko is the girl he's in love with you know what i'm saying they be having chemistry and all that but he had to like tell her through kuwabara by possessing him to take care of his body and then ends up having to get her to kiss him and like it's a lot bro i'm gonna be honest bro there's this funny ass scene where he's talking to kuwabara in a dream about getting kuwabara to kiss him and kuwabara was like nigga no like like i ain't gonna lie yo kuwabara got a little homophobia in him though i ain't gonna nah, nah, i'm just playing i'm just playing but there's this part with uh karama and the saint these art that's mad funny i can't wait to talk about it but anyway i'm getting ahead of myself so my man yusuke is finally back yo he got the fly fit on i ain't gonna hold you bro got the green jumpsuit and all that you know my man out here so he's walking around town enjoying life this nigga is smelling the roses he's <sighs> Smells like pussy. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> but he walking around and these guys try to rob him, yo. They was coming off crazy to this nigga. Like, hey, bitch ass nigga, give me your wallet. I ain't playing with you. Big green bean dressing ass nigga. A green jumpsuit dressing ass nigga. A, 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 a jello shot dressing ass nigga. What's going on with it, man? A veggie tails looking ass nigga. They started getting this a jolly green giant suit wearing that nigga. They started flying uh three peas in a pod dressing ass nigga. Like they started getting this nigga. I ain't gonna lie, he did have that um, green suit on. I'm just saying. So anyways, now that he's back, they make Yusuke into a spirit detective and he's going to have to like fight demons, go on missions, etc, etc. They're telling him about these three different items. 
there's this orb thingy that like steals souls uh, uh specifically kids though now basically this is the pedo tool now, i don't know why they had a michael jackson orb in yu yu haka show nigga but he he i'm just saying like why why is you collecting souls from children he said who made up that idea that's what i'm saying so we meet Karama and Hie in this, you feel me? Now, first and foremost, this is our introductions to two goats. Now, my man Karama out here, you feel me? Real drip check real quick. Got the red suit on, red hair, you feel me? Looking like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta a little bit, except for he got his hair down, you know what I'm saying? But he fly. We got Lil Hie, you know what I'm saying? The original Sasuke. Don't ever get it confused, you feel me? The first ever goat, you know what I'm saying? Fast, speedy character. Got a sword, you feel me? Using black flames. He's just better Sasuke. I'm just saying, that's just facts. And then we got this. This nigga that talk like a caveman he's irrelevant i guess he didn't make the cut later on because they ain't bring his bitch ass back but anyways this nigga be eating souls and turning into a big ass demon form him. motherfucker turns into me strong me eat children's souls me nasty me pedo like i'm just saying yusuke and this dude get the squabble and yo he smacked this nigga's yusuke with a tree trunk boom this man yusuke like god i'm really gonna die again nigga no shit this nigga punishing you anyways my man botan came in clutch and finesse to end up saving yusuke i ain't gonna hold you now this next part was mad weird because the caveman is like eating kids and talking about the kids that he's eating he's talking to the souls like it's not so bad kids you guys can play together in my stomach and i'm like yo somebody stop this nigga ladies and gentlemen we got him like bro arrest him nigga a, a little girl like <sighs> I hate this nigga, bro. I swear to God. Now, this man Yusuke has contemplated what he can do to this nigga at this point. He's like, all right, I got one spirit gun I can use. You feel me? First off, the spirit gun, for those of y'all that don't know, you should know. Spirit gun! Big ass spirit energy comes out of his fingertips. You feel me? But he got that thing on, right? That, that, yeah, I mean. He's like, well, what if I shoot him in the eye? Fuck. He's got two eyes. Now he gonna lie. That's shabby weed. But what he ended up doing was putting a piece of wood in his mouth and he hit him in the mouth with the spirit gun. Now, first off, I know y'all are thinking, saying, pause on that what you mean he put a piece of wood in his mouth it was a literal piece of wood it wasn't his wood i'm just saying now after he smoked this first nigga he got the orb thingy back and we move on to yusuke and karama's whole dialogue and i don't know bro i, I, I so the yusuke and karama shit is not as interesting because karama would have folded yusuke at this point we all know that karama is mad strong and if you know about the dark tournament then you know about yoko karama and that nigga is a different he's a different beast altogether like like uh, so like the whole thing with karama yusuke was kind of boring it wasn't boring all right boring is the wrong word but basically this red hair ass nigga you feel me he's really not a bad guy he got adopted by human beings he wants to save his mom and that's why he had the whole thing and blah 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 blah, blah. yusuke helps him so this whole situation was just yusuke helping him out and he got past the grievance and basically was like all right i owe you one but now we got my man he in the building man he versus yusuke their first encounter man and i ain't gonna lie to you i i, I was worried for my man Yusuke for a minute because he was kind of going kind of crazy. He was moving kind of mad as my Brits would say. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to call him better Sasuke for this whole part because that nigga is just better Sasuke. Now when these two niggas start to scrapping, I ain't going to lie, this man was styling on him. You just oh, you mad because I'm styling style. on you. Like, like, like I ain't going to lie. He started weave weave he was fast as hell nigga even got a third eye now they get to scrap and bro had a sword on him he stopped this nigga yusuke mid-sentence and rocked him then he started flaming this nigga on top of that he was like man i hate y'all spirits detective ass niggas oh superhero ass niggas fake superman ass nigga clark kent bitch ass niggas a uh, a uh, 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 phone booth changing ass nigga. like he was flaming this nigga i ain't gonna lie this man started shadow stepping around after this started confusing the fuck out of everybody including me nigga i'm like damn he moving fast he rushed at him and i ain't gonna hold you he got rocked though my man yusuke was like boom and i said okay your reaction speed kind of crazy but at this point he was mad as hell bro and turned into goddamn bruce banner yo this nigga hit channel his incredible hawk nigga this nigga turned into the hawk demon bro had 40 eyes on him first of all nigga if you got that many eyes on you don't they get dry motherfucker about to get clear eyes like, like, like put some motherfucker you need some eye drops secondly nigga, all them goddamn eyes nigga, i'm about to put a flashlight in your face you put a flashlight on he with them eyes out bro ain't no way he's seeing shit but when he was in this hawk demon form yo he started mixing this nigga yusuke i ain't gonna lie now karama had to pull up and you know he owed my man yusuke one so he started mixing this nigga eye up they going back and forth this nigga he ain't started fucking bro up weave weave mickey 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 now yusuke at this point was like all right man i gotta figure something else out so he started running as bait now he ain't chasing behind him he turns around shoots the spirit gun i'm like nigga, your aim suck this man was easily weave 
dodge the spear gun. I'm like, okay, so what's about to happen? This nigga hit the forlorn hope, the mirror, yo, and that shit bounced off and then hit this nigga. He ate from the reflection. This man did all that, turn into the Incredible Hawk demon and then punish this man Yusuke for no reason. Motherfucker died to a reflection blast. How you lose to a mirror world spirit gun? Nigga, you suck. Anyways, we're past the introduction of Yu Yu Hakusho. Now we're into the real spirit detective realm of things as my man Yusuke learns about Master Genkai. Now, oh my God. <sighs> Editor, I need you to play the epic music because we got to talk about the goat that is Genkai, the motherfucking best sensei in anime, man. Jiraiya, who cares? Master Roshi, who cares? Genkai is the fucking goat short as hell about 411 it don't even matter you feel me not even 411 like 42 you feel me on, on that baltimore ship that don't even matter the point is genkai is mad strong it has the technique of the spirit wave which is an ultimate technique that can heal and destroy it said that you can kill 100 people easily just by using the spirit wave now i ain't gonna hold you she's looking for somebody to pass the spirit wave on to yusuke is probably gonna end up being the one you would assume and he was you know what i'm saying but we're gonna talk about how we got there because it was a long journey to get there now genkai held a little tournament to find out who her predecessor was yo and this art was kind of crazy I i'm gonna come all the way clean this little short ass goat genkai man i swear to god genkai the goat man it's not playing with her so you scan both time are talking about this whole genkai tournament and this nigga don't want to do it i ain't gonna hold you but she bargained with him it was like look man i got a tokyo dome ticket now first off when she said tokyo dome ticket i was like oh this nigga about to get head from some bitch that's the tokyo dome ticket you just turn that into a masseuse and get that gone that's what i thought at first but then i was like nah i'm tripping this nigga talking about monster trucks and shit you feel me but, but that's neither near or there so they all end up going to this genkai Kai tournament you feel me cool bar tags along i don't know why this nigga showed up i guess he was for comedic value i i don't know i, I it also was to flesh out his character and to help him power up some and we're gonna talk about that too you feel me but that, that, that is important but they show up and they all gotta draw these lots these tickets right now genkai did this because anyone's ticket who turned red it means that they have spirit energy and they pass on anyone who doesn't they're soft they're some bitches these two giant ass niggas they pull tickets and their shit turns white so they come up talking heavy like yo what the fuck what you mean we can't pass on yo just because my shit ain't turn red oh what you fuck with bloods oh you fuck with them sue whoop niggas oh because since we crips we can't pass on that's how you feel get caught talking heavy back like no this is beyond your comprehension relax before i fold you bitch now they end up swinging at him yo and these niggas got punished she hit him with the spirit wave yo these niggas went flying back nigga said yo if i was in my prime them niggas would have flew through the fucking building i was like yo relax anyways this nigga you stay interested now he's like oh shit she got spirit wave yo. She packing niggas up so in this next part they gotta play games to find out how powerful the spirit energy is and how strong they are physically things like that and their spirit awareness now it's mad arcade games in here to find out she like tweaks them and it, oh, it was kind of weird but i I mean not weird in the sense like oh she's a weirdo but it's weird in the sense like why does this ninety five thousand year old bitch got arcade games but that doesn't matter so this man cool bar steps up and hits the boxing game boom gets a 129 you feel me but my nigga yusuke was like oh you got a 129 all right watch this mickey and got 155 i said okay oh this nigga different but then some other nigga walks up. He's some like martial art master. He punches this bitch and gets a 170. And I was like, oh, my nigga Yusuke is kind of down bad right now. This nigga, I hope they don't got to fight. But they did fight. Anyways, we're not there yet. So in a rock, paper, scissors game, it's to test out your spirit awareness. Cool bar passed this with flying colors. This nigga's, his spiritual awareness is like top notch, bro. It's different. After we get done with the motherfucking Chuck E. Cheese portion, the Dave and Buster's portion, we go on to the forest portion. Now, they have to run this race through this forest, and basically, whoever gets there first, second, third, I think it's I think it's like the first eight people, I, um, I was pretty sure, but I might be wrong or forgetting. It could have been the first 11 people. I think it was eight, though. I don't, I don't fucking know. I can't count past five, so it doesn't even matter. Anyways, these niggas is running through the forest. This green hair martial arts nigga was doing the most though. He's running through the forest karate chopping shit. There's wolves popping up. He's Mickey, Mickey, but it's making like karate chop noises. I'm like, yo, relax. Nigga beating the shit out of Berenstein Bears in this motherfucker, man. I ain't gonna lie. So this man, Yusuke, decides that he's gonna run straight ahead. He's like, man, fuck all that, yo. I'm not going around. I'm not going this way or that way, nigga. I'm going straight forward. And then this nigga runs into a Zubat demon, bro. I'm talking about the, the final form. Nigga look like a Crobat. Now, as he's fighting this fucking Zubat, Kuwabara runs by and just keeps going. Did that nigga Yusuke dirty? I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, everybody's there except for Yusuke at this point. But after he gets done punishing Baldock, which is the Zubat's name, apparently. What kind of dumbass name is Baldock? Anyways, Genkai let him through because he defeated a demon in the forest, and I guess she's impressed by it. That doesn't even matter. 
Now, in this next portion of the Genkai tournament, they go into this dark ass room. Now, when they walked in here, the first thing that I thought of was, Dad, is that you? Because it was pitch black in that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all never seen Daddy Sensei, you feel me? Because that nigga dark as shit. You can only see him during the day. I ain't gonna lie. But that's neither near or there. So they go into the galaxy room, you feel me? Motherfucking planetarium ass room. It's dark as shit in here, is what I'm trying to get at, bro. That's basically what I'm saying. It's dark, nigga. Goddamn. Now I'm thinking to myself, what are they gonna do in here? But then I was like, oh, this nigga Genkai about to have these niggas fight while it's dark to try to test their spiritual awareness. And boy, I was right. So these two niggas introduce himself. We got a bald dude with a swastika on his head. Now I know y'all are probably like, yo, is that a swastika? Is he a Nazi? No, nigga. It's like some sort of symbol for like Buddhism, I think, or something in Japanese culture. Like, uh, so I don't want to hear no fucking comments down below. Like, is this guy a Nazi? Why is there a Nazi? Like, shut up. Anyways, there's a bald nigga and then there's a guy with glasses. The guy with glasses is asking about killing people. He's like, can I kill him? Then Kai's like, I guess, nigga. I mean, you got to do what you got to do in this month. You know what I'm saying? So these niggas start to scrapping in the dark. All you hear is niggas mixing. Mickey, 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 Mickey. We can, we can, we can. Now, Kuwabara is like, yo, my spiritual awareness is up there. I can see them niggas in the dark right now i ain't gonna lie the nigga with the blades is kind of pushing up on the ball dude so we got him in a bad spot yo in the corner you got that nigga back to a wall and all that yo and then you see it bro this nigga punch out and use a big ass spirit wave like first off how you use a spirit energy blast of that size this man yusuke he out here using little spirit guns yo you shooting up big ass cannons out your arms any anyways it didn't even matter after this yo we got a little nigga that look like chaozu and this old ass fat dude these niggas start scrapping and then when the little nigga wins he comes out holding his side like oh that was tough but my man kawemi was like yo that nigga capping about his disadvantage yo because i'm looking at the stats right now he should have easily won that Keep that in mind, because we're going to learn about this little bald-ass Caillou-looking-ass nigga later. But anyways, now we got Kuwabara versus Musashi. Kuwabara was like, yo, stop fucking playing with me, pussy. He was talking heavy to this dude, but then he kept getting stole. Because, yeah, he can see this dude in the dark, but that dude can also see him. And he can hide his presence from Kuwabara, so we can't even see him. This man was... <sighs> Miki, Miki, Miki. After he got done mixing this nigga Kuwabara for a while, he pulls out this wooden sword. And that nigga Kuwabara was like, yo, you got a big stick? And I was like, pause. That was crazy. Anyways, he starts mixing this nigga Kuwabara with the sword, yo. I ain't gonna hold you. He was like, ah, huh, 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 huh. Like, he is striking this nigga with that jaw. Nigga was hitting him so much, he broke it. Now, this man Kuwabara picked up the, like, the spirit energy conduit, the little piece, the hilt of the sword, and he used his spiritual awareness, which is so top-notch that he can materialize spirit energy. Nigga made a spirit sword. Spirit sword. Now, I ain't gonna lie, yo. He turned his spirit sword on and cut this nigga to kingdom come. Had this nigga out here looking like a piece of paper to some scissors. This nigga's the chosen one. So after he smokes this nigga, we got Yusuke up next, yo. Versus the weird nigga with the green hair and the beard. So bro can see Yusuke because he got this big ass mask on. Bro got the uh, uh, the iRobot mask, the Terminator mask, like big stupid ass Predator mask. Like he can basically see him, like his heat signatures and shit. Hear his vibrations. It's weird, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Where did you get that from? Nigga, did Tony Stark give you that? But anyways, he started punishing this nigga Yusuke. Nigga was like, oh, guess you're gonna have to kill me. Bro doesn't understand how spirit energy works though, apparently, because he said Yusuke lost a ton of energy, but that nigga had plenty. So at this point, this man Yusuke realizes he can't see this nigga. He doesn't know what to do. So we let the dude hit him so we could grab his arm. Now the problem is this nigga is a martial arts master, specifically in grappling. And he starts throwing this nigga around and ragdolling him like fucking Hawk did the Loki. He was helicoptering this nigga Yusuke. <laughs> Through this nigga. He was like, just give up and I'll let you go back to your mom. I was like, oh my God, not go back to the drunk. But that man Yusuke was talking spicy. He said, the next time you attack me, I'm going to smack off that helmet and then smack you up some. So as this man went to go attack Yusuke, Yusuke turned with the quickness and hit that nigga with the spirit gun and shot this nigga's dumb ass helmet off. You remember when he grabbed that dude up to try to hit him? It wasn't to hit him. It's because he found Genkai's cigarette from earlier and put it in his fucking belt buckle. Who would have thought that a cancer stick would help my man win a fight? Anyways, after he shot this nigga in his fucking head, winner is Yusuke. So he thought he had to fight this bald-headed nigga with the swastika on his forehead in there. Thank God he didn't, though, because he would have got punished again. It was dark as hell, but they got to go outside for this next part. I ain't gonna lie, Yusuke barely won against the bald nigga, but he did pull it off. Now we got Chiaosu versus Kuwabara. I mean, my bad, Caillou versus Kuwabara. I mean, uh, the little nigga, you know who I'm talking about. So bro used this chant to make himself huge. Well, not to make himself huge, but make Kuwabara small, I guess. And he started breaking this nigga Kuwabara's bones. He was squeezing this nigga. He breaking his arm. He threw him all types of shit. I mean, Kuwabara clearly lost his fight, but he didn't lose the war because my nigga Yusuke is up next. 
and Yusuke was punishing this Caillou ass nigga, bro. But this nigga got every move ever, bro. He just got damn the avatar. This man using all types of shit. He uses one attack that like sends these wind scars out that are supposed to like sting you for all the battle wounds you have. I was like, bro, first off, I'm good off of that, bro. It basically said, I'm about to cut you with a bunch of razor blades and it put lemon juice in them. And I'm cool off that. Nigga, that is unfathomable torture. I don't know how my nigga Yusuke went through all of that. Fuck that. Nigga jumped through a tornado that was just stinging him. I ain't gonna hold you though. When he hit that nigga, bro, he jumped through that shit and chopped this nigga in his fucking neck. I ain't gonna lie. He did like a lunge cross chop across his neck, slammed this nigga on the ground. I said, oh, this nigga gonna crush his windpipe. He had to, uh, that nigga has to eat prunes for the rest of the week. Ain't no way he's swallowing anything else. But as he did this and they thought that he won, Genkai was like, you shouldn't have wasted your energy coming over here. Your fight isn't finished. And then we get off-brand Karama, bro. This nigga Rando. This whole time, this Chiaotu ass nigga was really a demon by the name of Rando. This weird ass, fake ass Karama, bro. I hate this nigga. Anyways, Rando was rocking this nigga, bro. But first, Yusuke was like, let me get it off on him. That was, pa yo, pause. Get it off on him? Like, what a... <laughs> He was like, make it, 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 make it. He hit this nigga like 40 times and did no fucking damage. He started swinging this nigga Yusuke around like a rag doll after this. Then he used this thread attack, which is like just his spirit energy connected to the thread. He had this nigga Yusuke tied up in fucking yarn. Man, tied this nigga up in Dolph Flamingo strings. Nigga tied him up with grandma sweater yarn. Nigga said, this is connected to my spirit energy. A mere human can't break it. So as he tied this nigga up to a tree, he started casting a spell. I ain't gonna lie, nigga summon hate fish. First off, how you summon something called hate fish? That sounds like something a white person would definitely know how to use. I'm just saying. Bro also had a demon that he had in his pocket randomly. Where did you get that from? Nigga, did you buy that at the fucking gift shop? So he makes the demon big and he throws him into this hate fish pond. Now the demon gets demolished at this point. I mean, they ate this nigga down to the bones, but it's all good. At this point, I'm like, okay, it can't be any worse than this. And then this nigga Randall did the unfucking thinkable, yo. He stole my nigga Yusuke's spirit gun said oh this is my favorite technique so he shoots the spirit gun past yusuke blows up a tree to show him how powerful it is and then he shoots the tree trunk which yusuke falls into the water oh so carcoon wants to make an appearance in my video yet again I swear to god i'm about to spirit gun the fuck out of this car but anyways at this point yusuke is talking to himself like here i am yusuke you're a meshy age 14 nigga wasted his whole life coming back to life just to die again to some fucking fish man this is stupid and then he falls in the fucking water, bro. And I thought it was over after this. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. But my man Kuwabara came in mad clutch and his soul popped out of his body. Now I'm thinking to myself, first off, nigga, why did your soul leave your body? Secondly, how did you make it happen? Did you materialize your spirit? Like, this nigga Kuwabara is different. So he ends up going to go talk to Yusuke and he's like, hey, pussy, about to give up already? He's like, you down here, mad as shit as some fish talking about you just giving up this is dumb soft ass boy dumb ass boy big green suit wearing ass boy get your shit in the game i mean a cool bar was talking heavy to yusuke but he needed that i ain't gonna lie so bro energy exploded after this point when he got that pep talk from his rival and this man jumped out the swamp now the thing about swamps is they're connected to other parts of the swamp so yusuke got the drop on this nigga jumped behind him and hit him with the spirit gun nigga fell into the swamp they was like oh my god yay then the fucking swamp started bubbling i said nigga is oven from one piece in there this man Randa was fine the entire time he hopped out and started rocking this nigga so as yusuke is on the ground looking at him he's like man he must have punched me good i can't even hear him then this nigga used the same chant to try to make him smaller than he did to kuwabara but luckily for yusuke he had fucking algae in his ears from the swamp first off clean your ears out nasty ass nigga when moms would be like clean behind your ears they were thinking of him but anyway since yusuke couldn't hear him the chant bounced off and went straight back to him and made him small at this point, he's like, it doesn't even matter. I can just redo the chant. But this big ass nigga Yusuke was already standing up like, yeah, like I'd let you do that. I'm too tired to punch you right now. Guess I'll let gravity do its job. And he just flops on this nigga and hits him with the meanest elbow drop I've ever seen in my damn life. Nigga turned into a WWE champion right there. Nigga said, from the top ropes, from the top ropes. Oh my God, RKO, RKO. <laughs> you know how the commentators be. So Yusuke finally defeated Rando, but then he realized that he couldn't go to Tokyo Dome anymore. This man Genkai was like, oh nah, you gotta stay here for the next six months. And I was like, ah damn, not the next six months. Anyways, none of this even mattered though, because this man Yusuke got super powerful by training with Genkai, which is cool. Now guys, I ain't gonna lie, this is a goddamn dude bro this goddamn video 
it's gonna be so long yo we're at 44 minutes unedited and i only covered like the first arc jesus twice bro i swear to god but it's gonna be worth it though yo because man you you hacker shows that shit bro i can't lie to y'all i'm so excited to talk about the dark tournament and hey, oh my god the, the, the saint beast oh my god chapter black yo there's some gas coming up y'all better make sure y'all get them likes up i ain't gonna hose you